Hi, I'm Stuck, and this is Bounty Thursdays. On a Friday, with DEFCON FOMO. Okay, so all your friends are at this cool conference and you're sitting back home because you can't travel to the US. What do you do? Well, you look at all the talks and you're participating in the virtual part. Specifically, um, there's some really cool villages that's gonna be happening over the next couple of days. We got AppSec Village, we got Red Team Village, uh, Recon Village, and all the major tracks, of course. It's all good. And then out of nothing, Albino Wax drops his version 2 of his well-known request smuggling HTTP 1. Now HTTP version 2. Seriously, I haven't had time to dig into it, but I just started reading um, the write-up and, and over at Port Swigger, and it's so good. It's so good and it's gonna be real. I'm betting there's going to be a lot of really interesting bugs coming out of that. Um, if you're not into request smuggling and if you don't understand how these things work, there's a great amount of information for you to find out there. The research or the things that Defparam did is really useful if you want to dig into that. And, and Turbo Intruder also now, now has support for HTTP version 2, which is opening up another whole kind of jar of mischief things going to be happening there. It's going to be very interesting to see where this pans out. And if you're watching this show, there's a big chance that you're into bug bounties or application security or offensive stuff. So um, then I would recommend you to head over to today's sponsor, which is Integrity, and sign up for their platform over at go.integrity.com slash stoke and start looking for bugs and get paid in euros today. Everybody's always talking about automation. It's automate, 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 automate. And I get that. The whole idea is pretty freaking awesome. But to just take all whatever nuclei templates that are available out there, you just shug them at a target, that's not really a good way to do it. So if you want to organize and find all these different kind of templates that comes with nuclei that the community has created, I would recommend you to check out the product called Scent. Scent has, uh, it collects a lot of information or it, it, it pulls from a lot of repositories uh, where people put uh, custom nuclei templates on and organizes them for you. So you, you can be a little bit more picky on the things that you want to send away. And as all always like know what they're doing dig in check out the template see what they're doing before you just fire it away because even though requests are free uh it's it's a, a bit frowned upon to just uh, throw things at it uh, at targets all the time so be a little bit careful what you do and you know play safe speaking of throwing things at a target um when you're fussing things using an ffuf and whatever and you have this massive word list and you maybe you're 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 found a couple of really nice word lists that you like and you put them all together and you realize there's a lot of duplicates in there because hey you don't want to send up duplicates you want to send the things that actually are valuable and, and it's good for you because you want good hits <laughs> It's a tool that's been around for a very long time. And I, and I used to be one of those guys that used you to sort that's you and, and do a lot of things. But Duplicut saves me a lot of um, time by simply just doing it for me. What you do, you type in Duplicut and your your word list that you have, dash O, and then whatever you want it to be. And it, by magic, it just sorts things for you and it keeps the order. So it, it doesn't need to be moved around, which is good if you're curating your word list in a good way. So if you haven't tried duplicate, deep, duplicate cut out, I would recommend you to check that out over at this Git repo here. And since we talked about the cool research that Albino Wax or James Kettle that works at Porch we put out, we, we need to talk about DOM Invader, which is a new feature or 
I don't know, feature plugin, I don't know, uh, of the latest version of Burp. Uh, I think it's in beta. Not really. You need to be an early adopter, I think, to get it. And it's going to work both with com community and professional. And I'm just going to read straight out so we don't get any misconceptions here. DOM Invader is a tool that allows you to test applications for DOM based cross site scripting, XSS vulnerabilities. DOM based XSS vulnerabilities use your arise when JavaScript takes data from an attacker controller resource, such as a URL and pass it to the sync that supports dynamic code execution, such as eval or inner HTML. So what it does, it puts canaries in the code and eventually it's going to end up. And if you're lucky, you know, it thinks you're fired. It's still in the early stages. And this is a technique that's been around for a while. And I will recommend you, if you're into that kind of stuff, to check out the Taint testing tool, which is a simple Chrome extension to assist you finding on XSSs. Uh, that's made by Ulle over at F-Secure. He dropped that during a talk on Security Fest 2019, I think. That, that's a great talk. If DOM X success is your thing, this is definitely something worth looking into. <sighs> I can hear you saying like, Stuck, why are you such a freaking Portuguese fanboy? But I'm not even hiding it anymore. I'm, I'm just not even hiding it. And that's why we're going to talk about the security team and Crumpets episode six together with Garrett Hayes when he, when he bre breaks down the idea around hack vector and how that turned from a website into this burp plugin that makes it very, very easy for you to encode and double encode and break things down so you can find really interesting payloads and, and create bypasses within burp. It's a uh, I think it's about a 50 minute, it's about a 50 minutes long video and it breaks down the ideas behind the hack vector. If that's something that you're interested in, I know I was, I would recommend you to check out that uh, YouTube channel and subscribe to everything they have coming out because it's, it's, it's fire, it's fire. But now let's get back to the Def Defcon FOMO and how you can at least a little bit, you know, a little bit, just soothing that a bit. Oh, I got FOMO. For, for different. Oh. So what you could do is that you could today tune in to the DEFCON 29 Red Team Village Capture the Flag stream. It starts at 9.45 a.m. PDT. Then it's going to be the pre-show. And then today it's going to be all about bounties and stuff. I'm going to be on there and talking about how to get started within bug bounties with Nahamsek. Then it's going to be CTF versus the real world with John Hammond. And then it's going to be hacking an active directory with CyberMentor. There's going to be live hacking with Cishano. And you know, all this is just being hosted with our favorite Twitch streamer Nahamsek. So it's going to be all good. And tomorrow it's going to be all about red teaming. Nice interviews, it's going to be the finals, you're going to see the qualifier end results and all that stuff. If you are interested in being a part of this community, I would suggest that you head over to redteamvillage.io, check out the schedule, join the Discord, and just, yeah, you know, feel at home because we all miss the homies and this is an easy way for us to just at least meet, meet them a little bit virtually. And if Recon is your jam, head over to Recon Village Talks. That's going to be, hey, Nahamsek is keynoting. It can't be bad. So it's going to be some awesome stuff coming out of that. It's a full day of different talks coming out of it. That's going to be all about Recon. So for all of you Recon heads out there, Recon Village lineup and talk schedule is available on their website. So definitely, definitely check that out. And I know I haven't been creating any content during the summer, but I've been outside. I've been skateboarding, hanging around with my friends and just recharging for the winter. Sweden, where I live is, you know, it's mostly is pretty shitty here for weather wise. It's, it's dark and it's moody. So the summer is a time for us to really go outside and shine and get some sunshine and boost up on the, those D vitamins, which means that I'm definitely going to be back in creating content on this channel and over at other channels like TrueSec channels uh, over the autumn period. And that's kind of kicking off right now. So. I'll see you around and until next time, stay curious and make sure you read the documentation. Have a good one. Bye.